Thank you so much, man. All right. So without further ado, we are going to unbox this thing that I am super excited about. And this is the T16000M FCS OTAS Flight Control System from Thrustmaster. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to do this with you guys. Um, somebody asked earlier, why this HOTAS? Um, and maybe that question was, why this HOTAS over the X-56? Well, I think we always try to be as uh, efficient with our money as possible, right? So, um, I have a HOTAS over there, an X-56. Pricier than this HOTAS over here. Um, I've used the T-16000M joystick before, and I'm a very big fan of that. And what I always really wanted was to have this with a throttle and saw and got an idea of what that was like. Um, so at 100, I think it was $130 US. That is a really good price point, I think, for a HOTAS, for uh, someone that's interested in flight sims um, like Elite Dangerous or, or Star Citizen or things like that. Uh, throttles and it, it just gives you the immersion and everything right without without any more delays uh, Let's start talking about this thing right now. The first thing that I noticed significantly less weight than the x56 box so Sort of worried about one thing in particular is this um, How is the pulling up and down of the throttle gonna be when sitting on my desk? Is it gonna move around? I don't know. So right away, it's a it's light, but that's the same with the T16000M. You got the sense that of, of the the actual joystick. You got the sense of when you it, it was a little light, and you're like, hmm, build quality, maybe not. But overall, my experience with the T16000M so far was fantastic, and it was it held up really well. I'm gonna open it, relax, but we gotta look at the box first. So it says that it has target technology, uh, Thrustmaster Advanced programming now this is derpy as fuck i don't know if you can see this but they took the r in programming and not the p to call it target uh come on thrustmaster come on uh graphical editor and they took the e and t in editor for target ridiculous um so i basically what this thing is saying is that this hotas is compatible with their pedals and their like little screen thing we got the other side that gives a little bit more info, uh, which says ergonomic trigger, uh, huggle rudder, push mini stick. So they got some things on here, but we'll, once we get it open, we'll see a bit more of the buttons and stuff. And they have braille buttons as well. So if you're blind and want to play video games, you know what buttons you're pressing, but you have no idea what you're seeing. But first, Okay, so this way is up, I think. No, this way is up. They have the, uh, this is a very weird packing situation on how to open it, because this is the, right here, what I'm holding, this is the throttle. Okay, so we'll look at the throttle first, because this is honestly what I'm most interested in is the throttle. Uh, the, the T16000M joystick we've seen before. Uh, not that big of a deal, I don't think. But for the throttle, oh wow. Okay, uh, right away, I think we found our, our new daily driver, guys. I'm really happy with what I see already, okay? I got tons of buttons. And, and the first things first, we have a joy, a little joystick input right on our index finger on the throttle. Now, with other OTASs, it's on your thumb. And I don't think it's a, I don't like it on my thumb. I really like the idea of it being here so far. Um, rudders on a rudder type pedal on here, which I think is interesting. Um, and then a up and down switch right here. So your uh, middle finger is an up and down switch. Ring finger and, and uh, pinky both have buttons to click. And then we have three hats, a button on the inside portion and it's it's pretty ergonomic and then as uh, similar to the x56 hopefully this is going to be our zoom in and zoom out here so they feel different so you know which one you're touching um 
So four four way hats here. Uh, each one. So I'm not exactly sure what I'll keybind these two. Um, this will definitely. But, or, uh, think about this. Boost, afterburner. Pretty cool, right? So right away, what I'm, yes, uh, Makira, this is exactly what I was about to say, which was instantly made this uh, my daily driver. I barely have to touch it, and it moves. Now, uh, the the movement isn't super smooth. There was uh, some rigidness in there. Last time was a lot smoother. But it moves not at all on my desk. Not at all on the table at all. And that is a big issue that I've had with all my joysticks, all my HOTAS setups that I have. Well, my only other HOTAS that I have as of right now is the throttle moves on the table. This does not move at all. It has a very... They, they definitely put some weight into the base. This is metal. I don't know if it's aluminum, but there is weight to the base of this thing. And there is much less weight at the top. So it's very bottom heavy, which is definitely keeping it on the desk. It has nice rubber feet as well. This is amazing for this. Absolutely perfect, thought out, great job, Thrustmaster. I am very, very pleased with what I see here already. Very, very pleased. Thank you so much for thinking about that. Uh, right away, what we have here is... Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this joystick. I think a lot of people are. Um, I'm actually going to get the other T-1000M to show you the differences. Uh, they've done... They've actually done some changes here. Um, at least visually, there's some changes. Quite a few. Um, it's sleeker looking. Uh, the design of the buttons is definitely more, I guess, sexy, gamery. But... I don't know if you guys are familiar with the this specific joystick, but it is both a lefty and a righty joystick. So what I can do is I can pop this off here, and there's some screws there. I can unscrew them and turn the joystick around completely, and then it becomes a lefty joystick. Amazing. So let me pop this on there. So that's what's great. Now, the only thing is, is I don't think... The throttle is switchable. Are the buttons mushy? What do, what do you mean by mushy? I mean they're they're tactile. I I don't I, n I never really saw the points of the buttons on the actual joystick, unless you're using the um the, this by itself. So in a setup like this, where you can set like strafe up, down, left, right, in on these buttons maybe. You know, and, uh, you know, throttle on your thumb while you press the buttons and move around. Uh, but, yeah, like, I don't I don't really see the point. Also, something that I've noticed, the, the base is heavier as well uh, from the original T-16000M, I believe, because it is not moving on my table at all, where my old T-16000M would move all over the place. Here's what a Star Citizen setup would look like, because Star Citizen, you need both a joystick throttle, mouse, and keyboard. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll remove... I'll leave chat up there so you guys can talk, but... Um, and say, hi, YouTube. But you're going to need something like this. Because you're gonna, now, remember, my keyboard's a little long. Uh, I am going to get a new keyboard because I have no need for the G keys anymore. Uh, I did when I didn't have a throttle. I was basically using my extra keys here, um, which I'll remove that for a second um these extra keys here there's 18 extra keys on this side that was what i was using for like strafe and 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 uh other things so now that i don't need to do that anymore i'm probably gonna get a different corsair keyboard but for the setup that i have currently let's get this off the table is something like this where i have my mouse my keyboard my joystick and my throttle now, the big difference with this is that these two things in particular take up significantly less room than the T16 or than the X56. But uh, what functionality that you don't get from that is the X56 has 
tons of different buttons. So I had landing mode on some, on some buttons. I don't know where I would put landing mode um, on my throttle, where I had a simple thumb switch that I can touch right here to go down to turn on landing mode to hold up for um, for uh, actual automatic landing and things like that. So yes, you are losing a little bit of functionality, a little bit of customizability, but I'm getting a throttle that moves nowhere on my desk, that is super smooth, um, a great value. So again, uh, I do want to say this, I should have prefaced this before, I bought this. I'm not sponsored by Thrustmaster, they didn't give me this. Uh, this was 100% out of my doing and, and what I wanted to do to show you guys. And personally, I'm a big fan of the T16000M, so I wanted to give it a try myself. I hope you guys like this video, I want to do more of these in the future. And, uh, yeah, um, I guess for the YouTube guys, like and subscribe to the channel and, and Twitch guys, you know, throw some, some emotes in the chat if you like it. Some yays or nays if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. And, and hit that follow button if you guys haven't yet. So thank you so much, everybody. And um, what I want to do more of is I'm going to do an X56 actual review now that I've been using it. But um, I need to set it up a little bit more for my liking and I will do the same thing for this so for now I'm probably going to use this as my daily driver because I'm excited about it and I'll put up a quick review video of this in the near very near future hopefully within a week I think a week of it will be good obviously won't be able to tell you the build quality of let's say uh the throttle or anything so we'll see in the future but I'm a really big fan of it so uh yeah thanks everybody and I'll see you guys next time all right Thank you so much, man. All right. So without further ado, we are going to unbox this thing that I am super excited about. And this is the T16000M FCS OTAS Flight Control System from Thrustmaster. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to do this with you guys. Um, somebody asked earlier, why this OTAS? Um, and maybe that question was, why this OTAS over the X56? Well... I think we always try to be as uh, efficient with our money as possible, right? So, um, I have a HOTAS over there, an X56. Pricier than this HOTAS over here. Um, I've used the T16000M joystick before, and I'm a very big fan of that. And what I always really wanted was to have this with a throttle, and saw and got an idea of what that was like. Um, so at a hundred...